that's integrate called Secret X. And just like Secret, you have to know the secret on how to do this. Although there's a different way to do it, but then this is a more of a standard result. So the trick is, let's look at this is the integral, and I'm going to put down cosecant x again, but then I'm going to multiply this by cosecant x plus cotangent x on the top, and then also over the same thing, so that way I don't change the value. So cosecant x plus cotangent x, and then we still have the dx on the side. Let's see if this will help us out, and it will. This is the same as the integral that's in Let's um, distribute the cosecant inside. So we have cosecant squared x and then cosecant cotangent, right? So plus cosecant x cotangent x over the denominator, which is cosecant x plus cotangent x. And we still have dx. And we are going to use u substitution. That u equals to the denominator, u is equal to cosecant x plus cotangent x. Differentiate both sides, we get du is equal to, and this question will really like, you know, work out your derivatives because you have to remove these derivatives, right? du will be, the derivative of this is negative cosecant x cotangent, cotangent x right here, okay? And then the derivative of cotangent x is minus cosecant squared x dx. And then we can, of course, um, divide both sides by this entire thing to solve for dx. And I will do that for you guys. So I'll just say dx equals to du over this entire thing. So we have negative cosecant x cotangent x minus cosecant squared x. Okay? Now, let's see. This is the same as the integral on the top we have cosecant square x plus cosecant x cotangent x over the bottom is just a u and then the du is that we have du over all that stuff so we have negative cosecant x well let's see let's take a look of this this is a negative that's a negative can i factor out a negative yes i can let's factor out a negative so we have negative cosecant x cotangent x, but then this will become plus after I factor out this negative plus. And we have the cosecant squared right here. Cosecant squared x, okay? This way, as you can see, this is cosecant squared plus cosecant x cotangent x, which is the same as that. So I can cancel them out. Cancel this, cancel that. And then we have what? This will be the same as we have the negative. Let's take it outside. <laughs> Let's take it outside. Integral, and then we have 1 over u, du, and then of course this right here will be negative ln, absolute value of u. Okay? And then u is what? u is that. So we are done. Negative ln, absolute value of cosecant x plus cotangent x. And then don't forget to put a plus c box the answer, and then get ready for the next one.